Now, unlike consensus methods that rely upon bringing participants together um, and having face-to-face -face discussions and in-depth discussions, the Delphi study, because of the anonymous nature of the process, is particularly ameliorable for to be conducted online um, and what we call um, asynchronously. Synchronously is where everyone does think of something at once, such as a video conference. Asynchronously is where participants can do things in their own time, such as looking at um, video recordings. So because of the asynchronous nature of a Delphi study, there have been a range of software tools developed to enable Delphi studies to be conducted online. Now, this removes one of the key barriers of other forms of consensus in terms of managing the number of participants. Um, because it can be conducted online and it's conducted anonymously, it is essentially scalable to any number of participants. Now, essentially they should still be experts. There is some um, approaches to Delphi studies where it relies upon the wisdom of the crowd or very large scale consensus derivations from general populations. But it really starts becoming then more of a survey rather than a Delphi study. Um, but if it still retains the aspect of anonymous voting and reformulation and passing that information back to participants for subsequent rounds, even with hundreds or thousands of participants, it could still be effectively a Delphi study. But in the main, online Delphi studies have between say 10 and 50 participants. Um, much more democratic than um, other forms of consensus research and face-to-face -face Delphi studies. But it does open up the possibility of um, diluting the expertise. So you still want to have experts involved in your Delphi study. But it doesn't necessarily mean they all have to be the top 10 in the world experts. You can now choose the top 50 in the world experts. Um, and of course, in your case, for your um, study, we're not worried about the expertise level as such. So there are a range of tools that you can um, find available. Um, um, the MISADEL um, process is an online Delphi tool where you can set things up and the participants vote um, online. It also has the advantage of having anonymous discussions. One of the disadvantages of face-to-face -face Delphi studies is that you can't really remain anonymous and have discussions. Uh, of course, people will know what you're discussing and what you're advocating for and, and so forth. But doing things online, you can have that online discussion element, um, which can greatly enhance the um, re-evaluation of people's perspectives as participants can argue for different perspectives while still remaining anonymous. Um, eDelphi is another online Delphi tool. Um, and again, it allows you to go through multiple uh, rounds. And indeed, um, online Delphi studies tend to have more rounds because there's no real additional effort really needed um, in terms of setting it up and managing it. So a little bit more involvement by the participants, but not exceptionally so. So having five or six rounds in an online Delphi study is no more real difficulty than having three rounds in a normally a two round face-to-face um, -face Delphi study. Um, and so the eDelphi process is probably the other main um, popular online Delphi tool. So think about the differences between doing it online and doing it face-to-face. Um, they both have advantages and disadvantages, and we'll discuss these in the tutorial.